Monster Cat uh, discography, everything yeah. on there. Yeah, I've been listening to it like crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, bottom left corner, guys. Jumping into the map, it is going to be Sidewinder. We want to get these maps going as fast as possible for you because we want you to see them. It's going to be Theory. Protoss player. Scion Killer. He has changed it up. Not purple anymore. You are in USA now? Yeah, you like. Everyone likes USA, man. <laughs> Not Juke Do. <laughs> not Juke Do. <laughs> <laughs> Top right corner, it's going to be Juke Do, your blue Zerg player. It's not urban enough for him. Yeah? Yeah, he needs to come to uh, San Francisco or New York. We'll show him the life, man. wonder where he's at. We'll take him to the Firehouse Pub that's down the street that yeah. I want to try out. Absolutely. To Look the Tiki Room. The Tiki Bar, I believe is what it's called. We'll take him to uh, Little Caesars, man, get $5 pizzas. Everyone loves $5 pizzas. Who doesn't love $5 pizzas? People who don't have $5. I don't like $5 pizzas, actually. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> to be honest yeah. with you, I like Red Baron $8 pizzas. <laughs> you like uh, Red Baron? Yeah, man. Well, not the commentator here. The actual pizza themselves. Yeah. he. Uh, He's rude, man. He's so mean. He uh, it recommends Cal 6 builds, actually. So That guy played lead so hard. Uh, we do have Juto actually going for a one base play here. When Gas first followed up into a pool right away. Uh, so it looks like he wants to get a little bit on the aggressive side. Hmm. That See, it's a really a gas guess. 14 pool. Uh, so it's it's speed oriented. Yeah. He really wants to get speed on the field here. It is a relatively big Mac. We are back on Sidewinder. We saw this earlier against Crank. Um, and we saw him expose a pretty strong strategy on it. Uh, really multitasking your opponent. And Crank, for the most part, dealt with it pretty nicely. The only problem was losing his Nexus. He didn't respond a couple seconds earlier. And if had, I felt like Crank would have had that game in the bag. Well, here's the thing that can be abused on this map in every circumstance. At that third, the assimilator is just so far out. That was perfectly timed with the Look boss. Look at that, man. It is, though. Uh, it's really, really far to the right. It is a lot like uh, Metropolis had that on its natural. Yeah. Uh, Antigua has a little bit as well. There is a build that Losira debuted versus Alicia on Terminus uh, way back when. That is a, you know, a little bit roach uh, aggression oriented. It's countered by Void Rays, um, but it's still really, really macro based. And it's a build that you can go in and snipe these assimilators with. And I wonder if we put this in the map pool for IPL6, if we'll see a little bit of that build resurge, because it's really, really good against. Uh, actually, that's completely wrong because it is it targets Protoss's natural expansion. This is, of course, at the third. But we did see some really good multi-pronged attack, as you were mentioning, from yeah. Juke2 that capitalized on that. Wanted to mention as well as we're going to have a little bit of a delayed opening from our players as they're going for a little bit economic play. Uh, and Davis was going to play in this tournament. He was up too long playing against Stefa or watching Stefano in the GSL. That's unfortunately why he didn't show up. And I assume that means why a couple of players didn't show up, actually. Uh, Stefano... Unfortunately, if you guys have not watched the games, check them out. Um, Innovation played <laughs> uh, we'll very be well. We'll spoiler free, but yeah. unfortunately... Yeah, check them out. Actually, I guess. unfortunately, if you haven't checked them out... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works, kind of. Don't get mad at me if I spoiled. I haven't told you the exact record what happened, but just check them out. Basically, Innovation is a beast. Lings do make it straight into the natural. We'll get an idea of what is happening here for Theory. He opened up uh, Gateway first, actually. Yep. Uh, a build that Eifer likes to pull off a lot. Uh, if you're looking toward an NA Protoss that actually does that. Um, allows you to put on a nice amount of aggression a little bit early on. And you can defend against a lot of aggression early on uh, with some nice force fields. Yeah, and it really increases the timing of any um, warp gate pressures that you want to go for. So very fast forge here following up. Speed is done, though. For Chuk2. Boom. Nice pylon! Boom. Wow. Well, a lot of lings are running straight here. He's trying that was to just go ahead and cancel the forge. But again, the that forge. That was very important, yeah, actually. Yeah, that pylon was. Um, the forge isn't really that. It isn't big for him to lose this, actually, to be honest with you. But there's a, it is, because there's a lot of lings coming in right now. Not a wow. wall up in existence. And this game could end very quickly. Well, I admit it wasn't big in terms of uh, tech, but yes, it's certainly pretty big as you lose a big gaping hole in the middle of your wall. Zerglings run straight through. Pylon's trying to bark it off. Theory is now just dying. Yeah, there it is. GG. You can't let that happen, man. No, you cannot. You cannot let that happen. Just like that. Games. Right. This is a kind of a weird series, because game one, I felt like Juto had that in the bag. In theory, threw up another pylon, get a zealot there. He has that defense in the bag, and both players are missing out a little bit on their cues, and it looks like we'll have to get ready for game number three, man. That was really quick. You look nervous. Why? I, you look nervous. I, I was like, oh, oh, fear in your eyes. Yeah, I was always expecting that. And unfortunately, uh, we've thrown this map tourney so we can have everyone see all these maps. And yeah. unfortunately, they're just dying out really, really quickly because we have really aggressive strategies on them. So 
Whatever, man. Whatever happens. Guys, we'll go ahead and be back after a quick commercial break. We're going to be having uh, Theory pick the next map.